John Fluidine, and today on how to, what we're going to do is go over how to change rotation on a VTM power steering pump. Here I have just a basic VTM pump. There are options that come with this pump as far as reservoirs and manifolds, and that can be purchased separately or included in the model code. So to change rotation on these, it's fairly easy. What you got to do is remove these four bolts. Uh, they should be a standard 9 16 head on these bolts. Once you return these, there is some spring tension underneath this cover, but it's not extremely high, so you don't have to worry about the cover flying off as you remove it. So you're just going to lift the cover off, and underneath you're going to have a spring, you're going to have your pressure plate and cam ring, and inside there you're going to have a rotor and your veins. Right there. So, to change rotation, the only thing you need to do is pull off your cam ring and flip it over and then reinstall it. It's very simple and you don't have to worry about any kind of damage or anything to the unit while doing this process. If any of the veins fall out, they're easily reinstalled. The one edge on the veins are rounded, so you're able to determine which way it goes out towards the cam ring if one of the veins do fall out. So, for instance, right here, we will get a close-up shot of this later, but you can see it's rounded on the head here, flat on the back side. The flat edge does go in towards the inner part of the rotor. Just make sure all your veins are pushed in when you're reinstalling your cam ring, putting your pressure plate back on in your spring, and reinstalling your cover. That way, your veins don't get cocked or pinched as you're reinstalling and bolting everything down. Now, if your cam ring does not have a directional arrow on it, like this one does, has a directional arrow to determine which way rotation is. You can always judge it by the larger hole here going towards the smaller hole there. So your rotation is going to go from the larger hole to the smaller hole. Some cam rings may not have a directional arrow on it, so it'll be hard to determine which rotation this is, especially without a tag or anything else. So that's how you change rotation on the VTM pumps. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if there are any how-to videos you would like us to do, please let us know.